and welcome to another how-to video from Moneris. As a basic administrator user, do you want to process refunds for your business? Did you know that an administrator user can enable or disable this functionality for a basic user? And as a basic user, you will need to contact your administrator to ensure you have this setting enabled. Now follow me on how you can do this from your own device. First, log in to Merchant Direct version 2. From the home page, click on the menu bar on the top left side. Go down to Reports and select Find a Transaction. You're now on the Find a Transaction screen, where you select Settled Transactions criteria for your search. The page displays the list of transactions that match your criteria. Review the list, then click on View Details to review the details of the selected transaction. Here you will see the details of the transaction. If this is the correct transaction, then click on the refund button at the top right corner. If the refund button is disabled, it can mean that the merchant is not eligible for a refund or the transaction is not eligible for a refund, and you'll see a message to call in. Now the self-serve pop-up appears. You will need to enter the amount you want to refund. Ensure the amount is less than or equal to the merchant settled transaction amount. Note that the system will automatically subtract all previously refunded amounts for you. Then click Confirm Refund. The pop-up updates with a Monero Service Center message. Click Submit Refund. The message may update depending on the type of card that's being used for the refund. Click Submit Refund again. You will return to the Find a Transaction screen where a message is displayed at the top indicating the successful submission of the refund transaction. Wondering what happens if you decide to cancel the refund process? You can choose to cancel the refund process before clicking Submit Refund. Just click on Cancel Refund and the pop-up appears. You have two options. No Go Back, which will take you back to the Monero Service Center message for the refund process. Or Cancel Refund, which will take you back to the View Details page for the initial selected transaction you wanted to process the refund for. So there you have it. You now know how to process refunds for your business. Thanks for watching.